All right, everybody. Hey, I'm over here working on my lawnmower now and uh, put new blades on it. But before I can do that, I need to get here's underneath. You can see all that crap out of here. Hey guys, all right, I'm on the ground over here and I'm fixing to get under my lawnmower and I need to do the uh, new blades. And as you can tell, the whole underside of this is plugged up and dirty. I, I knew I was gonna waste blades uh, last year just because of uh, the grass I had the field. I was putting this thing through the complete mess. And now this year where it's all at, I don't have to, I'm not doing that no more. So it's got, it's more calmed down. It's better off. So anyway, I've got to remove all this crap out of here. So I need to get chiseling. All right. Now I don't want to hear anybody complain because I already know. But look at all that. That is just one side. And then I'm going to lay back down there again. And I'm going to put the blade on. All right, guys. Let's see here. Let me show you my blade and I got a nut as you can see hopefully you can see it there's stars on this embellishment on the shaft all right and the stars are the same stars that you see right here the same ones and the purpose of having that is uh, some of these blades are just a round hole, a big round hole, and you've really got to torque down that big nut, that this big nut that's on here, to uh, to be able to hold those blades from spinning. So what they've done here in this mower, this is Troy built, they've got these the star in there. So what we're gonna do? All right, that nut started now. It's a lot easier. Now I'm gonna wiggle this around. As you can see, the nut. It looks like it's on its star. Now we're just going to tighten this down. And on the blade also, it, it was marked. So you don't get it upside down. On, on this blade, it was on... Uh, it's written right there. It says bottom, which means this will face down. Which makes sense because you've got a ridge here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the blade... And I've got a half inch wrench, ratchet. So anyway, we're gonna put the socket on here and we're gonna tighten it down. Like I said, it doesn't have to be that wrenching powering that you had to do with the old blades because, I mean, I'm gonna pull hard, but because of that spline, the, the uh, blades won't spin on a shaft. Okay. So there we go, we've got this on. And now I'm going to go over here and start on that side and start cleaning that up. Okay, now we're going to take that nut loose. And you know, uh, when you do these things on lawnmowers, always disconnect your spark plug wire. Mine is disconnected, so no worry there. But always disconnect your spark plug wire. That way, if you spin this, this it won't happen in this motor. But if it's on another motor, you take a break, uh, spin it briefly, you could fire the engine right up. So let's go ahead and take this off. And you see that wasn't even on there tight. It don't have to be tight because of that spline, those, that star. I got bees buzzing around me like crazy. And there you go. Look at that blade. Talk about abuse. I went through them hard last year and I just never put new blades on it this year so we're getting some new ones on there now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and scrape this clean. I'm going to put that back on because a minute ago I smacked that other shaft by accident with a hammer and I didn't want to mess those threads up. I, so I'm putting a nut back on just to protect the threads for a second. Alright, All right, like I said, no laughing. But I'm going to say that that's three and a half more closer to four gallons of dirt that came out from my tractor. I'd be it. 
three and a half gallons. All right, you can see we've pretty much got cleaned up. As soon as I hit the blade on uh, the spin, all that loose other stuff will come off. Once again, here's the teeth I told you about. You can see them right there. And the teeth are on right here. You can see them right there. And then, if you can see, I don't know if you can see it written right there, it says bottom. So we got to make sure that's on the bottom. So we're going to stick that in here. Put that nut back on. Now, like I said, you're not really wrenching hard on it because you've got those on there. But it is tight. I don't know what the torque is, but uh, I know this will be fine. Here we go. All right. That's tight. It all looks good. Blades on. We're pretty much cleaned up. I always go and make sure that the blades don't hit nothing anywhere. And we're good to spin freely, and we are. So, all right, I need to lower this down and get the air filter on and put the plug wire back on. And we're going to take this thing for a quick ride. Oh, well. All right, everybody. Got the blades on. Went back through and cut the grass. Looks ten times better. As Willow, she wanted to go out for a walk. Other than that, the uh, tractor's, the lawnmower's ready to roll. Lawn looks great. I redid this whole front real quick. And uh, major difference. Sounds like a, like a prop plane. What are you sniffing for? There ain't nothing down there you need. Come on. There's nothing down there you need. Anyway, that's it. Wife just texted me, told me she's heading home. Yay. Good to see her get home a little early. Yeah, you can see a big difference in the way the grass was cut. You can still see where it got real low in one stream right over there. That's just because of the way the blaze was bent. It was hitting it. That's all right. Next week will be a lot better off and looking good. You can see where it was the blades the first time around, how they cut. They weren't cutting good at all. That one blade. Let me go over and show you that blade. Here's the blades. See how that one was bent way down? And that's the one that was leaving that stripe right in the grass. Here's the air filter that come out of my push mower. Alright guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for following my channel. I do mean that. It, it means a lot to, to see the, the people that keep subscribing and keeps commenting to you. And, uh, it's really cool to have a channel and see people Bill Bill come on no see people just you know liking your videos and having a good time and talking about it. now would you cut your mouth you need to go in all right guys have a great day thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video thanks bye